Good evening. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome everybody to our Take Two edition of the Scarlet Oak Senior Ceremony for the Class of 2020. This special edition recognizes our cosmetology students. They've done a great job this year. We look forward to all their success in the future. We want to thank them for their flexibility and understanding during these difficult times. Please know that we are here to support you now and in the future. Do your best, make us proud, keep striving for your goals. And now, on with the show. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm Dan Rush, Dean of Instruction for the Scarlet Oaks Career Campus. I feel like this is the start of one of the many phone calls I've done over the last two years. Well, I've always felt the class of 2020 is a memorable group of individuals. I can honestly say it is a class I will never forget. We have certainly had a productive two years at Scarlet. The class of 2020 worked hard and is now ready to leave high school while taking the next step towards success in life. And that's what tonight's ceremony is all about. Scarlet Oaks usually holds a physical senior ceremony to honor our graduating seniors with the presence of their families. And we love celebrating their milestones. Unfortunately, this year we're not able to do so in person. I hope that all of you watching will join me in congratulating the outstanding young men and women who are completing their Great Oaks education. I'd like to introduce and thank the other members of the Scarlet Oaks administrative team. Ms. Ramona Beck, Mr. Scott Cauliflower, and Ms. Sarah Wilson. I would also like to thank the counselors, our support staff, and our dedicated instructional staff. It is because of the contributions of all of these individuals that the class of 2020 has been and will continue to be so successful. Members of the class of 2020, I am extremely proud of the work you have done, your accomplishments. Together, you have earned hundreds of career certifications, hundreds of hours of college credit, numerous scholarships, and you've distinguished yourselves in career technical student organization competitions at the local, state, and national levels during your two years at Scarlet Oaks. You've learned together, made friends, and grown into young adults during your time with us. Many of you already have careers waiting for you. Others are preparing to enter college in the fall. Several of you have joined the military and will be serving our country. We are grateful for your dedication and service. It has been several months since we began teaching and learning remotely. Right now, I'd like to introduce Shelly Beatty, a senior in our engineering technology and robotics program, to share with you her student perspective of a virtual senior ceremony and how this event has impacted our lives. Broken, technology obsessed, selfish and clout hungry. Does this sound familiar to you? After all, this is how the world views us now with this pandemic. But is it true? Is it true that we are good for nothing, lazy bums that couldn't care less about anyone else except for ourselves? Or is it true that we have no sense of direction? No, it is not true. And most importantly, it is not valid for us to uphold such a facade that has been plastered on us just because of an illness. No, class of 2020, please, I beg you, do not listen to these critics. Do not allow them to seize your peace of mind. I know you're wondering, Shelly, how can I stand tall when the very ground on which I am standing on is crumbling? Or how can I have peace of mind when I am mentally imprisoned by depression and anxiety? It's simple. We must not live in vain. Rather, we should walk with purpose. What does this mean? 
When someone walks in vain, that means that they do not have a sense of direction. They don't have an end goal in mind. It would be the same as walking outside your house only to stand there idly for 24 hours. Think about everything that we've learned here at Scarlet Oaks. With all of the trades and the skills that we've gotten from our instructors and our teachers, we don't have time or the capacity to even think about standing idly. I know in my example, I've had the opportunity to combine two of my most cherished passions, which are engineering and art. With these two, I've not only been able to personalize my education, but I've been able to find out what my real purpose is in life. So yes, COVID-19 came like a thief in the night and snatched our senior year away from us. It has altered our lives forever, causing us to question how we even interact with our friends and families and how we go shopping, how we go to the store, or even how we step outside of our homes. However, do not look at this as a malediction. Look at it as a benediction. Class of 2020, we are living in history. What other class in the world can say that they've had the opportunity to engage in self-learning at home? Or what other class can say that they faced life just right here, the true realities of life, how quickly things can change? We have done it. We are not the sort to shrink back in fear, my friends. Please do not allow yourselves to do that. As a great poet once said, walk towards the good in life and kick the rocks to the side. So, in conclusion, we are not those brokenhearted or lazy individuals that I mentioned earlier. Rather, we are unified, ingenious, self-aware, and tenacious. Class of 2020, this is us. Thank you. And now, here are some photos for us to look back on from our school year.
I'm pleased to introduce Terry Gibson, Chair of the Great Oaks Board of Directors. Mr. Gibson also represents Lachlan Schools. Good evening. My name is Terry Gibson, and I am the Chairman of the Board of Directors for Great Oaks Career Campuses. The 35 members of the Great Oaks Board represent school districts that are affiliated with Great Oaks. We live in the community, and many of us serve on our local and county school boards. As graduating seniors, you have studied, worked, learned, and prepared for your future. You are leaving Great Oaks with skills and professional certifications. Many of you have college credits. All of you are capable of great things. We are proud of you, and congratulations. Now I'd like to introduce Harry Snyder, the president and CEO of Great Oaks Career Campuses. Mr. Snyder has been extremely supportive of our Great Oaks community as everyone, administrators, teaching staff, and students and families came together so quickly to transition from in-person classrooms to remote learning. Hello, I'm Harry Snyder, President and CEO of Great Oaks Career Campuses. We've heard the term lately, essential workers. And as I reflect on that and I take off my masks, I hope that you know the careers you prepared for and trained for are essential. They're essential to your life, to the success of our region, and to our country. As we walked around the halls and visited the classrooms, I've gotten to know a lot of you, and I've introduced you to visitors that have seen what you're capable of doing. That's what's exciting about what you've learned and what you show us you're able to do. This has been a unique time as we've had to finish this year remotely. We missed you in our schools. We missed your smiles. We missed seeing your energy. But in the end though, what happened this spring isn't what matters. What matters is that you have the knowledge, you have the skills, and you have the talent, and you're ready for the future. Congratulations. At this point, I'm pleased to continue our ceremony with our student support. This ceremony is always about our students, and this year, more than ever, we wanna showcase our student body. I'm pleased that Jaden Matzik, a senior in our engineering technology and robotics program, is here to share some words with the class of 2020. Thank you, Dean Rush, for the introduction. And it means a lot for me to be here today to really speak on the topic of our true greatness and our true potential. Broken, technology obsessed, selfish and clout hungry, a lost generation we have been labeled by the stain of COVID-19. Our creativity and innovative aspirations have been mistaken for strange and far-fetched. But I say that these accusations cannot be any further from the truth. Because what I see is a generation so bold and fearless that not even the global pandemic could waver our desire to impact. A generation of risk takers willing to take the leap to fail yet succeed. And as we journey beyond the confines of high school, we must carry that same tenacity and strength as we prepare our minds and hearts to move forward. Embrace this opportunity to go above and beyond. Take the risk to prove that the world was wrong about us. Decide to pursue your dreams. Ignore the critics and live life every day like it is your last. Because in life, we are here today and gone today, in the way or on the way to triumph. So step out of the darkness and remove the cloak labeled as lost. For it is time to prove who we are by what we do, not what we say. We have to be hungry. We must develop a no matter what mentality. Fight for our dreams no matter what. Despite all of the outside noise and negative thoughts, we have to remain persistent in our paths. Don't get caught behind the how or the when, but develop a hunger for greatness. Strive to get on top in life because it is the bottom that is overcrowded. And we have all witnessed how life will throw curveballs to test our commitment. And too often, we fail. Make it all the way to the one yard line just to quit and throw in the towel. But how long shall we sit and resign to a life of mediocrity? One out of nearly one billion sperm cells, you were born a champion, destined for greatness, filled with unlimited potential. So step up and claim what is yours. Develop a drive and hunger for more in life. Go outside the walls of comfort, reach into your true potential. 
harness those skills and traits that the Oaks has invested in us. Shape the world that you wish to live in. Be the change you wish to see. And right now, we all have an opening to take that first step. A unique chance to be the light in the darkness. A profound opportunity to grow beyond our circumstance. What will you choose? Defeat or victory? Poverty or prosperity? Bondage or freedom? Lost or found? The choice is yours. A man sits in his car with his foot on the gas and hands to his side. No control of where he's going and no idea why. He is forced to accept whatever may lie ahead. Another man sits in a car with his foot on the gas and both hands on the wheel. He controls his destiny. And I plead with you, class of 2020, keep both hands on the wheel and your foot on the gas as we go our separate ways. Steer life where you want it to go or life may take you in another direction. For most of my life, I was that guy with my foot on the gas and hands to my side, stuck watching life pass me by drifting down a road with no direction. My heart was broken by life, sucked into the world of social media just to ease the pain, consumed by my own desires and thirsty for attention. My life was spiraling out of control and I was bracing myself to hit rock bottom. But out of the chaos, an opportunity arose, a chance to start over and claim what is mine. The great oaks had reached into my life and help me put both hands on the wheel. I have finally found myself, but in the blink of the eye and in the trail of a cough, it was gone. All of my blood, sweat, and tears swept away in a single blow of COVID-19, and I could feel myself loosening the grips, drifting back into my old habits. But I can't. I refuse because we have worked too long and have fought too hard to quit now. Do not let this be the end, but the beginning. This is just a setback, and a setback is just a setup for a comeback. For we are unified, ingenious, self-aware, and tenacious. Class of 2020, this is us. Thank you. If we were together at the typical in-person senior ceremony, we would be receiving our career passports on stage. Not only will our students be receiving their high school diplomas from their home schools, but also their career technical certifications, which push them ahead in the world of college and industry. And I would personally like to thank my parents, my homeschool West Claremont, and my instructors for guiding me through this maze called life. This passport is a document designed to assist students in our job search and is a highly respected document in the tri-state area. Included in the career passport is a letter from the Great Oaks President and Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Harry Snyder, the student professional resume and references, the student's competencies, skills learned in each program, the student's career technical certificate, credentialing documents and awards individually personalized for each student's achievements. And finally, an opportunity to continue education with Great Oaks in the future. The placement office is always ready to serve us as we work to achieve our goals. The career technical certificate will assist students as we enter into our post-secondary institutions or our career paths. Graduates, the Great Oaks Education Foundation is proud of us and our accomplishments. With our passport is a wallet size certificate as a constant reminder of the dedicated work we have done over the past two years. Great Oaks hopes it will serve as a long lasting remembrance of the commitment they have made in our education as well as a reminder that the Great Oaks is interested in all of our future successes. Great Oaks looks forward to serving our training needs as we advance in our careers. It is a hope of Great Oaks that as we develop expertise in our careers, that we consider serving on an advisory committee and becoming a partner with education to encourage and help future generation of students. It is our time to pay it forward and we will always remember the dedication with which this district has served us. And now, here are all of our seniors being honored in this virtual senior ceremony.
So please join me in congratulating the class of 2020 as we watch this historic virtual presentation. Congratulations, Cosmetology Class 2020. You are accomplished, and you have overcome many obstacles and changes during this senior year, starting with your change of your chemistry class to 90 hours of online with Milady, unfinished internships, personal difficulties and struggles, and last, the coronavirus that sent us into distant learning from our homes. You have achieved, you have rose above it all, and you have received your diploma. Your next step is your state board cosmetology examination, which you are all capable of passing, and I say good luck to you in that and in your future. May God bless you. Congratulations, Senior Cosmetology Class of 2020. I just wanted to take a few moments to uh, congratulate you all and wish you well. Um, you graduated from high school. That's a huge accomplishment, and you should be really proud of yourself, especially during a day and time where it could be a lot of pressures on you with social media and other situations of this world, but you did it, and you should be very proud. I'm also proud that you chose Senior Cosmetology, um, well, Cosmetology period as your program, and that you decided to come to Great Oaks. It is an amazing opportunity. Um, cosmetology is still an awesome a career um, there's a lot of areas that you can go into um, and so it doesn't matter if it's going to be your primary it's going to be your subsidiary or just a just in case it really doesn't matter you earned the credential and then it's yours nobody can ever take that away from you um, as alumni of Great Oaks as I come full circle one of the most important things to me is that I'm able to offer to you what I received and that was teachers in the program who really cared about my uh, future and my success. So as you walk away, I hope that you can honestly say you received the same from us. Uh, we will always be there um, for you, whether you just want to come back and touch base with us on a per personal or professional level. level uh, we'll be looking for you to do big things. Um, so as someone wise once said, if you're unwilling to learn, no one can help you but if you're willing to learn no one can stop you so i wish you all well and i wish you the best and take care the cosmetology class of 2020. Their instructor is Danell Davis, and the graduates are Raven Boer, Jade Brinkman, Madison Bundy, Ayana Carpenter, Michaela Coburn, Genesis Couch Casino, Adegiana Crosty, Omar Cruz Rios, Destiny Davis, Emma Deal, Mondrea Faulkner, Najea Ferguson, Sierra Gibson, Nadia Glover, Leger Jackson, Alicia Kite, Serenity Mitchell, Carlay Orso, Sari Randolph, Morgan Sandage, Renee Scott, Rihanna Thompson, Imani Tremel, Asia Williams. Congratulations to the cosmetology class of 2020. Hi everybody, I'm really glad that I've gotten this opportunity to say congratulations to all of you. I didn't think I'd get it, so I'm glad that I'm having the chance now. Um, I just wanted to say that I'm really proud of all of you. You have done wonderful things in your time at Scarlet, and I've seen you grow and mature and just your talent blows me away every single day. Um, I'm also 
really proud of your determination. All of you have had challenges along the way and you've never ever given up. And I'm really proud of that because to me that means that even in the future you're going to reach your goals and do everything that you want to do. Um, you're amazing. I'm going to miss every single one of you. Um, I'm not going anywhere, so please, please come see me every now and then. Um, congratulations, guys. Um, I wish you nothing but the best. Congratulations, Senior Cosmetology Class of 2020. You made it. Remember, choice is your greatest power. Choose wisely. Speak well of yourself to yourself. Best wishes. Stay in touch. And remember, Mrs. Beck, is one of your number one fans. Right now, I just need you to get real loose. Get comfortable. Grab your love ball. Grab your love partner. And if you're by yourself, no worries. Just follow.
congratulations to all of you. On behalf of the Great Oaks Board of Directors, the Great Oaks Administration, and all of us at Scarlet Oaks, let me say, job well done. Your entire school career has led to this moment. A special thank you to your parents and your home schools who prepared you to enter your career program. Now you've completed your education at Great Oaks and you are ready to be successful adults. With the closing of school buildings and the challenges of remote learning and social distancing, I know that you are stronger and better prepared for life. I am proud to know you. Use the experiences you've learned at Scarlet, especially during these trying times to continue to grow and work towards your goals. While times certainly are unusual now, know that you will have the skills to continue your personal journey. We miss you and hope that you will stay in touch. One last time, on behalf of everyone at Scarlet and Great Oaks, congratulations to the class of 2020.